Oh my goodness, those are the machine guns I always see in movies, you guys. Hey, I'm so scared, fucking scared. Look at that. When they are crossing from Burkina Faso to Ghana, like the Ghanaian immigration, they don't really worry that much. I've experienced it. But when crossing from Burkina Faso, from Ghana to Burkina Faso, you get to the immigration, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, it's, it's no, it wasn't easy. And they would have to take 400 days for us to be able to cross all the immigration from here to, from Burkina Faso here to Mali. Like it's insane, I've paid my fare and I have to pay extra for my garage, which is about $40 before we get to Mali. Like, I, I couldn't even understand. Right, but what can we do? The white man has divided us, so that is it. Now we have to get out again. About 10 minutes drive from where we were stopped, we still have to get out from the car and face another immigration. I, I don't even like I'm becoming frustrated, guys. Wow, and cameras are not allowed here, so I just have to go do that and come back, guys. So hold on, every minute you have to stop on those roads. Oh. Eh? Hey, I said this is not Africa, like you are entering the US. Even if you are going to US, cry, it's not like this. You, I won't mind you. I'll take my own thing. We haven't seen any nice building yet. <laughs> this is a market. Ah, okay. It's a market. Okay, that's why. Like I'll be wondering. This is their market. But the far end is more houses. Houses, houses. Those are houses. Yes. Oh, it's true. Yeah, they use. Uh, I think is it palm leaves or no. I know, I know what they are black, but we call it in a way a black, but I don't know. It's, uh, like it's a space. Uh -huh. like uh, those I, days. I this one, they want to sleep in and you and your wife were going, is that what the material is? <laughs> by olden days, they were living in that. Yeah, of course, if you were living in this one and you were going, we are making that sound and somebody is passing. It doesn't place. matter, it, they've covered it with rubber. Uh -huh. yes, the sound will come out. In block will cry to come out. Yeah. Unless you play music. Yeah. So you can see all the cars packed here. They are packed here because the journey cannot be continued. You have to sleep here because if you continue, you can be robbed on the way. So the Malian border they always closes when it gets to a certain point in time at night. So that people are not able to cross. So we had this place they call it the flower. That's what they said this place is called. Yeah, so you can see all the cars parked here. That is what it is. Yes, it's a dangerous journey, but I decided to do it for myself. And for you people, to just show you how other people live in their country, we have it so cool in Ghana. As you can see, Ghana is so free. Anyway, I'll see you guys on the other side, right? all right guys good morning it's the next day okay it is um today is tuesday early morning we got here yesterday in the evening this is um the burkina Faso, the end of the land this is the border we are yet to enter mali right we slept here because the border had been closed right and this place is very dangerous that's what he said when you are crossing to the other end you need to be careful so because when you drive at night from here to 
Mali. Terrorists could attack you, uh, armed robbers could attack you, you could be terrorized and all that. That is why we had to, you know, sleep here. We slept here. It's a dangerous journey, but I actually wanted to adventure, to have an adventure, to see how everything here, you know, works. Like, it's Africa. We are all in Africa. It's just to, you know, travel Africa and know what is happening in other parts of the world. Yeah, that's the main reason. But, you know, I got this man warning me. I shouldn't do this. I shouldn't do that. And, in fact, I was so scared to do anything, right? So, as you can see, this is the uh, border. So, yeah, yes, to enter this side. And, yeah, you can see that is Burkina Faso. That is Burkina Faso. You can see that the entrance there is the border that we are going to. Yeah, so, let me just hang up. He said, when I'm noticed, <laughs> I'll be dealt with. So I'm very, very careful as in what I do. I want to open one to remove this, you can see. That is the people at the other side. Cross. Yes, I'm coming. Eh, what is happening there? That is, that is where? That is Mali. Wow. So you can see all these cars left here. Wow, you guys. It's crazy. Whoa. Look at the number of people here. Wow. Wow. I'm covertly doing this, you guys. Because I need to be careful. They don't have to see me doing this here <sighs> guys but seriously if not for the terrorist attack and everything these people are super nice right they are very nice people here i meet a lot of people that are so nice they are so kind but apart from the thing going on around here that's why sometimes they can be so strict do you get but apart from that everyone is so beautiful they are just beautiful people after all we are all africans let me show you what's happening here i don't want them to catch me right they know i'm being so <laughs> these people yeah, i'm so scared doing this right because if they catch me guys i'm so freaking dead So at this moment, I'm just making sure there's no soldier behind me. Like, I'm freaking dead. Welcome to Mali. So now my foot is in Mali now. I'm now going to Bamako. I'm so happy that I'm in Mali. <laughs> I'm hiding my camera. If they catch me, I'm dead. Wow. It's made of millet. Yeah. Uh, is it sweet? Is it sweet? Is it something sweet? No. Okay. No. Mm. okay. No, no, no. I've not tasted some before. Hey. You know what I've tasted some before? Ah, me, I will not buy. Yeah. It's okay. I will not buy. You know what I've tasted some before? I've yeah. never come here before. So. Okay. Uh, when was the one we said you came there before? No, you did inside. Ah, uh, he's inside. Yeah. Okay. This is where you don't take care, you want to die. You will go there and pay the wala for you. <laughs> wala for you. Okay. I see. 
good one. What is this one? Wow, like me, what is shocking is that just from the border, you, the place is just like a typical village, you guys. Hey, they are going to show you. It's true. Oh my goodness, those are the machine guns I always see in movies, you guys. Hey, I'm so scared, fucking scared. Hmm. Jesus, my first cultural shock here is how these people are. I mean, they are selling food and where they are washing their place, you guys. If I show you, you'll be shocked. That is a shock for me. It's a no no for me. I guess we are done at the border and we have to go. So what I showed you was just the border and the food they are selling there getting shocked. Why is this sounding like some I can't name? Techno. Hey, I've seen some city buildings. Wow. Twenty ladies in town. Because they are Muslims. Wow, my beautiful angels. Um, this part of the country, this is Sikasso, Mali. You can see this part is so good and the road network is so smooth. Wow, look at that. It's so beautiful. Even it's faster. Chiginiu. This is a city. Ah, city. City K. Is that city building? My people, city building. Hmm. Oh, lots of motorbikes. It's just giving me um, a Togolese vibe. Like when you go to Togo, you have a lot of motorbikes on the road. That is the vibe I'm getting here in Mali. You said this place is called Sikaku. Sikaku. Uh, Sikasu. Sikasu, Mali. Wow. Wow, one thing to comment about this place is the road network, you guys. They look so good. It makes driving so feasible, right? Sika Somali. Wow, beautiful. They are in their field. Cabbage. Those are cabbage and lettuce. Farms. What's now about this place where they see you with camera? They think like you are a terrorist, right? But I'm not, you guys. It takes bravery to film here. I want to buy some food. I'm so hungry. And I don't know. Hello. Hello. How much? Two cents. Two cents is what? Two cents. Thanks, sir. Uh, this is it. Uh -huh. I don't know what food it is. But... Small. Oh, nice. I know it. Remove. What is this? And This, this one. This one, this one. This one. 
It's a farm. Ah. This one by is owned by Chinese people. I can't. Hey, this one is a rich man's house. Oh. Eh. One rich man in the desert. Goodness. If you see one rich man, you drive for like how many hours before you see another? Or you don't see any at all. So what do they manufacture there? The factories are just remotely in the bush. There is nothing interesting yet. Is that an airport? See that thing? That round thing there. That's, that's the... Mm. But this one did. I'm not sure. Normally, you can see this. this five points. Oh, is that wrong? Too far away. But the one turning there, I don't know what it is. Well, these are various plants. You can see a lot of buildings up, up. Maybe we are getting, we are almost close. And the traffic is not even moving. We are getting closer to Bama. Uh -huh. See, so that was the thing I saw at the right when I was asking you whether it was the airport. That's round thing there. Wow, this is... Oh my goodness. Uh, 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 uh. So what is it? Look at my hand though, it's not from the internet. I'm showing it to you. Right. <laughs> Ministerio de la Culture, La Tour de la Frica, Bamako, www.maliculture.net. Okay. Yeah, Ministerio de la Culture. <laughs> culture. <laughs> culture. Yes. 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 Oh, they have a lot of graffiti on their buses. They do not like the Kenyan graffiti vibes. Wow. Some Lome vibes. Mm. Welcome to Bamako. Alright, so my first impression about Bamako is that they do not have a lot of high rise buildings here. Even on the road to this place, you could see that um, the towns by the roadside they were all like villages. You could see all in like literally villages, and in the township, in the city, the buildings are not that tall, as you can see for yourself. There are not a lot of high rise uh, The impressions. There are a lot of motorbikes here than cars, you guys. Just look at that. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. Even women, it's just like in low main. <laughs> and the buildings are not tall. First impression, Accra is more developed than Bamako. And their buses too are multicolored. They like a lot of multicolored buses. Look at the bikes. Hmm. I'm sitting by your window so I can only show you what is by my window. So this is the city of Bamako. And like I said, the buildings here, there are not a lot of high-rise buildings. Those are the first impressions. 
you can see a lot of motorbikes here in the city more than cars and most of their buses are multicolored with graffiti designs and also taxis here most of them are fences that they have colored them or painted them into yellow or any other bright color yeah so also you can see that the motorbikes have their own lane that they ride on and the cars to also have their own lane the bicycles too and pavement for pedestrians also that is the difference one difference in ghana in ghana you don't normally get this for bikes yeah in first impression you can see at the far end those are the lane for the bikes to ride on and the dual carriage for the cars and the pedestrians walk on the pavement as in any other country you can see that we also have vendors traffic vendors who sell in traffic so yeah it is just like any other city but the difference is that here they have the pavement for um, the lane for bikes to ride on separately from the car lanes wow <laughs> Look at the bikes, the motorbikes, and how organized they are. They all respect the traffic lights. Wow. <laughs> so this is Bamako Station. <laughs> Finally, my heart is smiling. I am in the country that the name Ghana originated from. Yeah. You guys, welcome to Mali. Damn. So, my beautiful people, finally we are here. So, you all welcome to Bamako, Mali. Are you excited? Give me. A thumbs up in my video. Look at me with my backpack. So heavy. Very heavy. Welcome to Bamako, the capital city of Mali. So I'm waiting for my guy to come and pick me. Then we go where we'll be calling home for the next two weeks.